So, MEC, good morning to you. Uh, you've heard the grievances from the community members, in particular with regards to the Elim Primary School. Why are community members forced to do things on their own? Where is the department and the monies? Good morning, uh, and good morning to your viewers. Let me start by saying, on the 8th of June, on Monday, when we reopened in Limpopo, 3,841 schools opened and 48 did not open. Mm. This is because we have a problem of water and sanitation. If you remember, when I came in last year in my July budget speech, I made an undertaking that I'm going to eradicate all the pit latrines, that is 215 of them. Mm. So we went on to advertise the tender and then adjudicate it and everything. So when we were supposed to give them letter on the 1st of April, that's when lockdown happened on the 20th of March. Mm. So we could not go on because all of us as a country were under lockdown. But since the uh, level three, uh, we've given them the, the uh, appointment letters and they're busy with the sanitation. Yeah. On the other hand, as the Department of uh, Education in Limpopo and the National Department of Basic Education, we are busy providing uh, ablution facilities to all the schools that are, uh, are, are short of the, the toilets. Let me, see, uh, let me just ask you this question. I'm sorry to interrupt you there. Can I ask you, of these 48 schools that did not open on Monday, how many are rural schools and how many are township schools? All of them are, are rural schools. All of them are rural schools. That tells you that yes. they are in a state of neglect. How bad is the situation? We know the situation, as I said. As, as we go into the lockdown, we had about 128 schools which need a infrastructure overhaul. And as I say, we had 215 schools which needed a, the to proper toilet. So we're busy with it until the lockdown happened. But let me tell you now, we are busy delivering portable toilets to all the schools, and they promised us that by Friday all the schools will have toilets. MEC, you were talking to me just before we came on air, and you're saying that you are with the Deputy Minister of Education there as we speak. People have said that all that has happened just before the reopening of these schools, when all of the uh, government officers or officials were going around and uh, monitoring these schools. All that, that you, you were engaged in is just a show because where this matter really matters most is in rural schools. Those are the schools that we ought to be talking about. Uh, do you agree that the government has indeed neglected these schools and You've missed several deadlines over the years. Why should we believe you now that the matters are being sorted? Unfortunately for me, uh, I only came uh, into the Department of Education on the 22nd of May 2019. No, MEC, no, no. no. Can, can, can I? No, MEC, no. It's been the ANC government that's been in power since 1994. Over the years, people have been lenient with you. Why are you not putting attention where it should be? The kids in rural schools are being left behind. How many of those children, for example, MEC, where these schools that have not opened, how many of them have gone to nearby schools? Are, are you aware of uh, perhaps uh, their, their attendance right now? But you're not even giving me a chance to answer it. You asked me a question that as government we are neglecting and we are not doing anything. And I'm giving you a concrete information where you can go and check it. In my July budget speech, one of my priorities was eradication of the toilets, improving the school infrastructure, and ramping up e-learning. And I have, as I've said to you, as of now, we have delivered 160 toilets to schools and the outstanding one will be delivering them by Friday. We also had a problem of water, rent water and Department of Basic Education came and assisted us and we are almost finished in terms of delivering water to all the schools. Yes, we are aware of what is going on and we have a program to improve the schools. Unfortunately, 
uh, something happened beyond our control, that is the COVID-19. But as I said, from the first, uh, when we went to level three, we were able to take out letters mm. to the service providers to start with all the schools that had pit latrines. Yes, I acknowledge over the years, there's not been too much progress, mm. but we are making progress now. And Let we are see. not going to shy away. Let me ask you this question, very simply. The attendance of children in these rural schools, the 48 of them that have not opened, and you've acknowledged just moments ago that all of them are rural schools. Where are they attending? Some are at home, some are attending at nearby schools. So the ones that are but at home are not receiving lessons right now, yes? Remember, the toilets that they were using some of the principal were saying to me they were cleaned and ready for use. And we could MEC, not allow them. MEC, I'm talking about teaching and learning. The ones that are at home, are they receiving any form of education? No. There's your answer, MEC. You are neglecting these children, and they are going to be left behind, and that's why we have a crisis of skills in the country. No, they are not going to be left behind. We are going to have a catch-up program to assist them. Let me see Paul Liboshiel from Limpopo. Thank you very much for your time.